Hey guys, what is up? It is Grace Tori. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited you're here. Whether you've stumbled across this video or you've been following me for a while, let's hang out and do this look together. I did this Easter look for you guys today, um, but before we jump into the video, I just wanted to do real quick my question of the video. Don't forget to answer. You might be featured in my next video. So for this question, what have you been doing in quarantine to keep yourself busy? I have been reading and of course doing homework because I'm a college student and professors have decided that there's no no boundaries so I literally have an exam on Easter this year sad times but it's okay um, before I start don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell it really helps out my channel and see more looks just like this one don't forget to leave a like because that also super really does help me out and leave a comment if you wanna telling me your question of the day answer so yeah without further ado let's jump right into this look Hey guys, so as per usual, half of my face is already done so that you can see what it looks like. I know we would do be doing the other half of my face. Just for like a little disclaimer, I already have a foundation, concealer, and bronzer on. So um, you can see pretty much any of my natural videos have my foundation, concealer, and bronzer steps. I did the exact same thing that I always do. Um, just a little bit of natural to give my face some dimension. So yeah, let's just hop into the eye makeup first. For my very first color, I'm going to be using Untouchable, that's Untouchable, um, from Jeffree Star's Blue Blood Palette, of course. I feel like I only use Blue Blood and Conspiracy and sometimes Mini Controversy, and that is 100% a fact. Um, I have other palettes, but these are just my favorite and they have pretty much every other color, like every color I can think of between the two of them. Um, and they're very springy colors, so I'll use my Morphe color, uh, palettes when we get into like the fall, but since it is spring, I just have all the colors I need right here, so that is why. But I'm starting with this very pastel pink, and I am just doing my, above my crease, where it touches my eyebrow. And pastels are really hard to do, you really have to pack them for them to show up. So I'm putting quite a bit on and I'm definitely going to go back in with more. Okay. And then after that I'm going to be going in with I'm Cold right next to it, it's this blue. And it, with I'm Cold I am going to be going into the crease. And it might turn your pink a little bit purpley and that's okay we're just gonna keep going and building I'm cold until we get more of a blue like we did over here pretty much the this like pretty much the majority of this eyeshadow is just packing because it's a lot of pastels oh sorry you couldn't even see me because it was so dark it's fine I'm trying new stuff because sometimes when I film you can't see me, so I'm trying like something different with my camera so that you can see me the whole time, because right now you can't, or in my past videos you can't. So I'm going back in with Untouchable, that pink, and I am just going back over on the top so that you can still see it, and then I am going to also be taking it and doing this V right here. And then also going to do the outer corner of my under eye. Also pack this on as well. I found that using my finger sometimes helps depending on which color you're packing um, and which palette you're using. So it helped down there, but I'm still going to use my brush to give it that blended look on top. Next, I am going to be taking a conspiracy palette and I'm going to be taking food videos and food videos is very quickly becoming one of my favorite colors it is so fun and so pigmented so I've just been loving it lately um, and I am just going to be taking food videos and doing the inner quarter of my eye on the lid so yeah well basically what I just showed you and again this is going to take a minute to show up so you're just going to pack it to make it show up better. I 
I don't know if you saw that, but I just blew off the palette and it may have just put a thousand different colors on the camera. So I am going to be taking my finger again and dipping into food videos and just patting that on my eye. As you can see, that makes it way more pigmented, which is actually exactly what I'm looking for. Actually exactly, yeah, nice word choice. Then I am going to go back in, as soon as I find the brush, I'm going to go back in with I'm Cold, the blue palette, or the blue color, and I am just going to take that to blend out the edges a little bit, um, make it look more like a straight line. I did my best to make it look like a straight line. This is basically a cut crease. I am not very experienced with those, but if you blend in here, it gives it like a nice blend, and it almost looks like watercolor pastel I don't know but I really like it um so I am just going to make sure the food videos on the middle of the lid is Ooh. nice and pigmented um sorry my dogs are barking p.s. it's Evie's birthday today she just turned three so cool beans dude okay so that is all we are going to be doing for the eyeshadow um make sure that when you put the yellow on it kind of connects on the bottom so that you have like pink and then yellow yeah you catch my vibe okay so next i'm going to be taking this wet n wild mega liner in the shade voltage blue blue tension um i got this for bid day and it turned out really well so i thought i would use it for this look to try and make like this egg kind of vibe so i am just going to be drawing the um the designs that you would find on an Easter egg. Okay, so once you have your design on, it is time to do your eyeliner. So we are going to take that same blue eyeliner and just do a wing as per usual. This is definitely not my best egg I have ever drawn on my eye, but it is okay. You know, in the spirit of Easter. I'm running out of blue eyeliner and never thought I would have said that. If you saw my video on how to do a wing, you are a pro at this and you probably do it way faster than I do. And you can just skip this part of the tutorial, you feel me? Okay, so once you have your blue eyeliner on, it is time to add some falsies. If you are like me and you use your magnetic falsies, it is time to go ahead and put the magnetic gel on your eye. So this is actually going to cover a lot of the main portion of the blue eyeliner, but that is okay. We still have our egg. So I am just going to be putting that on. I'm using a different brush and it actually is going on a lot thinner which is good because I didn't like how thick it went on with the other brush. Okay, so once that is on, you need to give that time to dry. So I am going to be quickly doing my eyebrows with my wow brow as usual. Nothing different there. 
feel like if there's ever a day that I'm not using my wow brow, ask if I'm okay. Because I genuinely love this and I use it all the time. Pretty much every single look won't go anywhere or do anything without my wow brow. Okay, so while we are still waiting for that to dry, I'm going to go in with some white eyeliner on my bottom lash just to brighten this look up a little bit more. I'm going on the waterline. There we go. I'm going to add a layer of mascara. Almost out of mascara, but we are in quarantine. Yeah, hikes. Well, I'm not going out to get mascara, so tea. Okay. So once you feel like your magnetic liner is done, it is time to put your false lash on. I am just going to make sure there is no old li liner stuck on my magnets. We're going to keep them from sticking because sometimes they do that and it's not fun. And now I am just going to take my magnetic lash and stick it on my eyelash. Now I'm going to go in with my mascara. Make it look a little bit more natural. Honestly though, there's really nothing natural about this makeup look. So I don't know quote unquote what I'm trying to make natural, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Now I am just going to do a quick swipe with I'm Cold, the blue shade, just to make sure that all of this is still blended. I'm going to take some tweezers and get these lashes because they're really separated and I don't like that. And now we are done with our eyes. So we are pretty much done. It is just highlighter left. So for my highlighter, I want to use a green highlighter. So I used Jeffree Star Skin Frost in Mint Condition. I love this highlighter. You can put it on a little bit and you can't even tell that it's green. But if you want to really go in, like I did this for St. Patrick's Day last year, um, you look pretty cool. And it's very minty, and I'm here for it. Jeffree Star just, you guys know how I feel about him. He just really goes in, and I'm, I stand. So I did that. I'm going to add a tiny bit to my nose. Cute a bow. And I always do a tiny bit on my forehead, just because I feel weird not. My nose is just shining. She said, okay, highlighter. Yeah. I think I'm done. Oh, lips. No, I'm not. I need to do my lips. So for my lips, I am going to do blue because I feel like I don't get to do this that often. It's a blue gloss. Um, so first, I'm going to be going in with my Alme. Uh, what is this called? <laughs> Mix it up. Hashtag lip vibes in the shade Mix it up. And it is this shiny, glittery blue that goes on a very sheer but very glittery so I am just putting quite a bit of that on and now I am going to go in with my NYX hashtag this is everything lip oil and I guess it's in the shade this is everything this is also 
almost like a icy alien vibe um, and I'm just going to be o going over the first shade There we go. All right, and that is my completed look. So I found else. I thought it was a lie. Had to go by things that make me sound. I actually love how this look turned out. I wasn't sure about the eyes, but actually I really like it. I hope you guys try it out. If you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Um, also, don't forget to enter my giveaway on Instagram. I'm giving away one item from the Bloodlust collection, so if you are interested, go enter that. My beauty Instagram will be linked down below, as well as my normal one. My beauty one has all the details for the giveaway. Um, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more looks just like this one or if you just want to hang out with me, it's a good time over here on the channel. Um, <laughs> and then hit a like if you don't mind. That would really help me out. And leave a comment telling me what you thought of this look. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Tears like strawberries on a summer evening And it sounds like a song